Well, the U.S. House of Representatives has overwhelmingly passed a bill targeting the popular social media app TikTok. Two thirds being in the affirmative, the rules are suspended, the bill is passed. The bill now moves to the Senate where it faces an uncertain future. It requires TikTok to separate from its owner ByteDance, which is based in China, or be banned from U.S. app stores in six months. TikTok needs to decide whether they value their users or their ties to the Chinese Communist Party more. Supporters of the bipartisan bill cited national security concerns, arguing that the Chinese government could force ByteDance to hand over the data of its 170 million American users. That's something TikTok has long denied it would do. President Biden says he would sign the bill if it reaches his desk. His Republican opponent, Donald Trump, once threatened to ban TikTok, but he now opposes this bill, saying it would shift too much undue influence to Facebook. This does come, however, come, however, after he was lobbied by someone with stock in TikTok. Business owners and influencers could soon be left in limbo if TikTok is in fact banned. CBS Philadelphia's Josh Sanders spoke with two local influencers on what the legislation, if signed into law, would mean for them. We're just two women out of Philadelphia who we get kids out the system and we shower them with love. Two years ago, Lila Jones joined TikTok as a way to invite others into her blended family, and something unexpected happened. Oh! I got on TikTok with my family and it went viral. Um, at that time, I, was, I just had my wife's biological two kids and then we had one, my, my, my four-year-old. He was our first child. Um, it went viral, then our story went viral. Her TikTok, legendary.always, gained two million followers. Together, she and her wife have six kids. Four of them were adopted from foster care. Just showing like a different side of the foster care system and of these babies and a positive side and just trying to be the role models we can be for the city. Jones is a teacher and says TikTok has provided extra income for her family. We're about to go to Disney World fully on TikTok. Um, so it's, it's creating a, 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 a nice, 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 nice vision for our kids. But now she and other influencers using TikTok may have to look for other avenues to share content if Congress passes a law to ban the platform. Eagles just signed New York City Giants running back Saquon Barkley. I know what you're all thinking. Who is Saquon Barkley and what is a running back? Katie Kahn teaches 11th grade in Philadelphia, but also provides sports comedy to her 153,000 TikTok followers under the handle Katie Actually. I've come to actually depend on like that like extra money for like whatever random stuff maybe I wouldn't have been, um, you know, spending money on before. It's kind of like fun. If it were to be actually banned, uh, there are other social media platforms, you know, I would, I would hope that the community I built would just follow me to Instagram or follow me to YouTube. As Jones and Khan wait to see if the bill passes the Senate, they say they will continue to create content on TikTok bringing love and humor to others. Now, the House bill is expected to face challenges in the Senate with some lawmakers feeling it violates the First Amendment. Josh Sanders, CBS News, Philadelphia. Now, if you're still wondering what the big deal is, this might help out. TikTok is the number one downloaded app in more than 40 countries worldwide. Apple says it was the fifth most popular download in their app store last year. And when it comes to down to cold hard cash, NASDAQ says TikTok is valued at $50 billion. Its parent company, ByteDance, is worth $275 billion.